Okay, so let's talk about the ending of Late Night with the Devil. This is one of our favorite films of the year so far. And of course, we will talk about the AI problem as well in this film because we were going to address it always. There was no way we don't address that. But that will be a whole other video, so stay tuned for that. But let's talk about the film Late Night with the Devil starring David Desmosian. So as the film starts, we basically get a quick rundown of Jack Del Roy's Night Owl's late night show and just how much of a roller coaster it has been. And we also find out about the tragedy of their wife, Sarah sadly passing away not too long ago and David's character of Jack Del Roy taking a break from the show. So Jack has their big return one day and it's going to be a Halloween special where they're going to have a psychic named Christu as well as Carmichael who is a skeptic and Dr. June Ross Mitchell who is a parapsychologist with their latest subject Lily who is the sole survivor of a satanic church. And so we have this show laid out and we see that Jack is trying to get back into the groove and all of this. The producer producers on their head to make sure that this is one of those like number one shows because Jack has never been able to get that number one spot and they're really trying hard right now and it could definitely mean that the contract that they are waiting to sign might not go through if they're not able to get the number one spot so we see as Jack is trying to battle all of these um, issues that they're having about how to put on just a great show so as the show starts we see first Chris too, who is the psychic comes on they do their little thing and at points the audience is sort of not really buying it but then we see towards the end they really buy it especially when he makes a connection with some of the audience members but we see that there's some connections coming in that might not have been on Christu's radar as we get a whole thing maybe it has to deal with Jack's deceased wife it seems it's Pretty much what Jack is sort of like implying here that his deceased wife is maybe trying to make contact with him. Then we see that Chris Dew takes a little breather and we see the next one is Carmichael who was a former magician but now they're a skeptic going around trying to see if anybody can prove them wrong about things being real or not in the paranormal uh, world. And we see that they are sort of like baiting Chris Dew and Christu gets a little pissed about this and wants to leave at a point. And then we see Christu have this huge breakdown and it is one of the eeriest parts of the film as they start spewing this black like goo and it turns into a whole thing where nobody knows exactly what's going on. Carmichael themselves thinks that Jack is behind all of this to try and get the ratings up, but Jack claims they are not. We then see that Chris Tu is taken by ambulance and we get our next guest who is Dr. June Ross Mitchell as well as Lily and we get a little bit of a backstory on Lily's whole thing with the satanic cult that they were a part of, how they were doing rituals and everything. Very eerie stuff as well in these videos that we see and it felt very surreal to look at as well. So we find out that Dr. June Ross Mitchell believes there is some demon inside of Lily and that they're able to communicate with them. Jack wants Lily and June to showcase this demon, but June is against it. However, Lily wants Jack to see the demon and thinks it would be great for them to be able to do a live demonstration. After some back and forth between Jack and June, we see that June accepts doing this and we get a whole demonstration of this demon being summoned inside of Lily and Lily very much so turns into the demon in front of the audience and they turn to look at Jack and say they recognize Jack, that they remember Jack from the tall tree and earlier in the film they talked about how Jack was in like this whole like cult or uh, sort of secret cult that would go out into the forest and we don't know exactly what they would do there but they said that there was a whole thing that Jack maybe did a thing or a pact with something in order to get that number one slot and so we start to wonder if whatever demon is in Lily is actually that demon that Jack may have spoken to a year or two ago. And so we see that Dr. June thinks it's too much and she cuts the connection with whatever this demon is. And we see Carmichael doesn't believe it still. He's pretty much adamant that this is not real, that this is a whole plot between June and 
Jack and Lily, and it's just for ratings or whatnot. And we see that he is going to prove that this is not real, apparently, as he hypnotizes one of Jack's men who works on the show and makes him, the audience, Jack, and everybody else who's watching believe that this man has worms. And as an audience member, we apparently get hypnotized as well. So we see the worms as well. But then he snaps his fingers and it turns out that there was nothing at all. And so then they replay the footage and show that, yeah, there really was nothing. It's just because Carmichael had hypnotized everybody. And he says that this is what Dr. June Ross Mitchell has done to the audience members and us as well in order to believe that Lily was in fact possessed. Then Lily says, okay, if you don't believe us about that, then I want everybody to see the footage again and showcase that. So at this point, I think everybody that is in the audience, everybody who is a part of the show with Jack are pretty much like, you know what, let's cut this show. This has gone on too long because earlier we found out also Chris too had died going to the hospital. So it's just a very, very dark presence in this whole show but jack wants to continue he wants everybody to see that this is the real deal and of course it seems that jack really wants that number one spot as well so when they are able to go back and showcase the footage we see that lily was indeed possessed and we also go back to some footage earlier where we see jack's deceased wife as well standing there and then all hell breaks loose as we see lily is ultimately possessed again by the demon and we see as they are just wrecking havoc killing the staff member of jack also killing carmichael as well as dr june ross mitchell and taking jack into the descent of madness as we see them go into this very dark place where we see them hallucinate about the show hallucinate about everything around them and also we see that maybe jack did in fact take this cult like packed with the devil or whatever it is to become that number one spot and we see jack then go to his wife who is in this hallucination he's having and the wife says that why did they sacrifice them basically so it seems that all things are pointing that jack was ultimately sacrificing something in order to get something else maybe he didn't know it seems that his wife would be that sacrifice as we saw that she ultimately did now jack has all of these things in his show that might get him that number one spot because of just how insane the show has turned out the final plea from the dying wife on the bed is just for jack to kill them with a dagger which we see jack does and then he ultimately awakes to see himself stabbing lily to death and him just standing there uttering the words that we heard carmichael say to try and break this hypnotic spell which jack seems to think all of this is but we as the viewers see that this is just a reality now and jack is seemingly going to go to jail as we hear sirens going off and all of these people dead around him so that's pretty much the ending of late night with the devil which which I think as a which I think is a slow burn film that really takes its time but once it really starts going and heading into the direction it heads to by the end it is one of those films that is just outstanding to see and I really love David Dusmoshian's performance in this as we see that they are trying to grapple with what is reality and what is not as well as we see that they showcase this talent in order to be able to portray all of these emotions especially in that ending scene with the wife and then them standing there with all of this carnage around them very very much so a very haunting image but yeah by the end we pretty much get the idea that jack delroy's character might have taken a pact with this cult and with a demon or the devil in those woods as the demon that's inside of lily does recognize jack and even can confirm the location with saying the tall trees and i think that chris too was one of those connections that jack had with the spirit world whether it was with his wife or with the demon in itself so christy was pretty much being used as a vessel and by the end we see that jack del roy's character may have made a deal that was going to cost him everything maybe he went number one after this show because just how insane everything was but ultimately that led to his wife's death and also for him to be incarcerated because he is the one who ultimately does kill lily as we see and this may have been a 
trick that the devil or the demon played on him in this final act here is because they wanted to go number one but they didn't say at what cost it would be so i think that this definitely is an ending that is just very dark grim and just horrible all around and truly a horror movie but this is definitely one of my favorite movies i've seen in a while i really enjoyed it like i said it is very disappointing what happened with the ai situation which we will talk about for sure but i still think that it is worth seeing just for the performance of david desmosian and everybody involved here from laura gordon ian bliss faisal bazi ingrid torelli riz aturi georgina haig josh quang tart and everybody else involved here and i just hope that the situation with the ai doesn't really diminish a lot of the amazing work that all of these people did so excited to see what you think let me know what you think about the ending like i said i think it was just a deal gone wrong that jack had made back then he was desperate he wanted to be number one and it ultimately cost him everything but yeah as always let me know your thoughts and opinions check out our reviews our reactions from south by south was still coming out so stay tuned check out our website www.culturelixer.com as well as our twitter instagram all of that good stuff we are on the road to 30 000 subscribers less than 2,000 here so super excited to get to that and as always i'll See you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.